Welcome to Cooking with Madho. We are at Starbrook Market, the largest market in Guyana. Recognized by the Georgetown Council in 1842. So you have kuchula and that's a pepper there, right? Yeah, pepper sauce. Pepper sauce, kuchula. Coconut oil, all of those are locally products. Salt, and you have... Okay. And this is tamarind. Tamarind, yeah, achara also. Tamarind, I have lime. And lime. Yeah. Uh, so we have a variety. Right. And what, what is this? Is this moringa or what kind of leaf is this here? No. This is fine leaf. Fine leaf? Yeah. A little fine leaf. Mm -hmm. I think you are ready to eat too. Yes, should. Yeah. Yeah. You destroy it now. Share the celery alone. Okay. Thanks. So you were telling me that uh, this is egg ball. And well, these are the non vegetarian items like the egg ball and fish and bread, chicken burgers, and okay. So you have like you have chana in the back there, that's dalpuri. So there's dalpuri with chana, and uh, you even make your own pizza, like cheese pizza, kind of like margarita pizza. And you have polori, you have polori, you have cassava ball, you have pine tart, cheese roll. Okay. So, so the polori is here and this is the cassava ball. Oh, so the difference is the cassava ball is made with cassava flour. Oh. And that with bare cassava. Oh, and this made with flour. Yeah. And the polori is fl just flour, turmeric. All right. Cheese roll. Cheese roll. Cheese roll. And this is Chinese, right? This is Chinese cake and donuts. So the Chinese cake has what in it? Like black black eyes, right? Yeah. So so this one, this is the Chin what is called Chinese cake. This has black eyes, whereas this one has cheese, cheese filling. And this one is pineapple. So pineapple, cheese, and black eye fillings. This one is more Chinese style along with the donuts. And then you have polori and cassava ball here. Okay. How long have you been working in the stall for? Oh, it's my mother one. It's your mother's one. My grandmother, then my mother. She also had the same, the same spot in Starbrook Market. So you're like the third generation selling in Starbrook Market. Yes. Okay. And you enjoy, you enjoy working here. Yes, yes. I love it. Okay. Thank you. St. George's Cathedral. In proximity, the main street has been around since 1899, the largest wooden structure in Georgetown. The Carnegie Hall, seen in a prior photo, is the library. And this building here is Parliament, where Guyana has been independent since 1966, promoting a constitutional republic. The Bank of Guyana is really important, just like this church, for promoting stability. Along Main Street, you'll see the Chidi Jagan Institute and the Anthropology Museum. We then hit the African Liberation Monument. Since 1974, this has been around promoted by Burnham to foster and inspire African liberation movements. It was actually founded or launched rather at the time of Namibia's independence. Shanta's Puri House provides traditional Indian food but also Guyanese local food and it's so refreshing to be in a no frills roti shop. You see here we ordered some chana, a dal puri, a dal rice bhaji and there are lots of other delicacies you could have even jalebi at Shanta's Puri House so it's a really good Deal. The prices were reasonable. Chalgayo, Firmilinge. Thank you for watching my videos. The next one will highlight malls, modernity in Guyana. I hope you see the Giftland Mall versus Movie Town Showdown on my next episode of Guyana. See you soon, Chalgayo.